Right YouTube, it's uh, Ralph Sly and this is like an out of the box review on uh, the Shurecom 328 repeater, duplex repeater controller. Bit of a mouthful there. Um, I've had it a couple of weeks now, sat in the box pretty much since I got it. I opened it up, had a little look and put it back in its box, as you do. Um, but thought I'd share a video because there's not many videos on it. Um, so I'm in the kitchen at the moment, so sorry for the bad light, any funny echoey audio sounds. But um, yeah, if you are looking at buying one of these, I mean, I've found very little video on YouTube um, and very, very few English and very few anyone actually talking. 99% uh, of the videos were like a minute long, people just showing you the product, like turning it around. So that was no good for anyone. So yeah, the Shurecom 328, I think it was, repeater. They make a few of these, um, and most of them are just parrot repeaters and I can't stand parrot repeaters so this one is a full duplex uh, repeater controller and what I did notice one of the things I like is when I opened it up first time it was well packaged everything was in there nice and neat wrapped up very tidy and clean looking and um, so I'll just get out everything it came with uh, everything that was in the box I should really talk for it yeah obviously the repeater controller itself little wall socket for 240 volts there for the power source uh, it came with so two Two leads for the RX and TX radios, and it also I'm just checking to see what's in shop because I can't zoom out enough. Came with um, the power lead, so it goes into the USB socket or your car or whatever your battery bank, and then this this end here, the other end will go into the back of the repeater controller. Also, the bit that confused me. Oh, gift! Didn't realise it on the back before. This is gift. I couldn't work out why they sent me a micro USB lead. There's no micro USB lead on here. But they sent me a USB lead in for weeks. I've been trying to work out why they sent me that, why it was enclosed. And it says on the back, gift. So they've obviously gifted me a micro USB lead. Let me just, I'm going to open this up. Because I've got thousands of these. Because obviously my phones, my dash cameras. My tablet, everything is, my battery bank, everything is USB. Oh, this is identical to the one I've got with the Shurecom 328. Well, well, oh, look, it's even got like, a little lip on it. So you can grab it better. Wow, and it's sad it's about me along. Oh wow, free, thank you very much. Sure come. <laughs> anyway, moving on. So you've got the leads, you get a random gift, and you get the destructions, and the destructions are very good because out of the box, you can work this. Um, I need to zoom out a little bit. I don't know if I can do this without knocking everything off the tripod. That might work. Oh look, Lucas Aid and a can opener in shot. Right. I'm kneading down on the kitchen floor now, as all good, great YouTube videos are made, in the risk of my phone falling. Um, yeah, the destructions are printed backwards. I think that's the front. I think they're actually advertised like that. They weren't actually folded correctly. So let's just fold these correctly. Da -da. There's the destructions. Quick installation guide. Get it in shot. Focus. There we go. Ta-da! Uh, it's the Shurecom. Duplex repeater controller SR-328. Again, they make a six something in a one, two, four, whatever. I don't know. They make two or three other ones, but the other ones only have one socket on the back, no A and B, as they are parrot repeaters only. And I freaking can't stand parrot repeaters. Um, I'm not even able or have a use. I don't have a use for this. I can't use it. I just bought it for the sake of it. But nevertheless, I still hate parrot repeaters. Um, so yeah, all the videos on YouTube didn't really go and discuss. There's so many of them made by Chinese or Japanese or people in Hong Kong, Tokyo. I don't know, videos where they just show this and they just spin it around slowly and then that's the video. Um, but yeah, it has its own power supply. It's got a built-in 8 or 900 milliamp power battery. Uh, scanning for here, probably can't see it. Oh, there it is. Is that it? It's got a 900 milliamp hour battery in it. Uh, 3.7 volts, which is unusual. 3.7 volt battery built into it. You can purchase, there's the accessories you can buy. You can buy an 800 milliamp power battery bank. You can purchase another power lead. Um, US, European chargers, UK, Australian wall sockets. Uh, sorry, Australian wall sockets. Different sockets here for different radios. Mine came with Kenwood, which is, I believe, the same for the Bao Fangs. Bao Fangs, Bao Fangs, Bao Fangs. Um, as you can see, there's lots of different ones there for. All types of radios, mobile radios, down to half four handies. Um, everything you need. Um, you've got on it 
full DTMF tones for turning it on and off remotely so you can remotely access this via the handset password protected you can change your password dial into the repeater and put it to sleep or dial into it and turn it off dial into it and turn it down you just on your keypad on your radio you and then it turns it on or off or whatever right so it's a nice sleek slim very slim lots of air vents design um, even the side is vented you can see straight through there the other side vented you can see through there um, power input on and off switch button sorry not switch button and then um, RX and TX for the radios lots of fairy lights in the front because we well, you've got to admit we are men who like gadgets and radios we do like things that flash and bleep and light up look at all the lights on there look at all them pretty pornographic lights and they all flash and do stuff. And they all flash with operation, with audio, with battery power, TX power. If they're on charge, it lights up. So you've got a perfectly good indication of what's going on in this tiny little box. And to be fair and frank and well sly, there's a lot going on in this box. Um, unlike other controllers, or if you go lead to lead to radio to radio and use a Vox facility, we all know Vox is crap. Voice activated radio. Oh my God, it shouldn't be on any radio. No one uses it. If you've ever used it in the past, it don't work, it's crap. So the problem you get with Fox is if someone pauses or takes longer to put the words together than a split second, the radio just de-keys. Um, this detects the um, audio level coming in from the receive radio and it will use the push to talk, which I think is this one, yeah. It uses the push to talk and it will actually key up the other radio. Let me just turn this off because I'm not actually using it. Um, so this actually uses the push talk facility. It will um, key up the other radio when it receives audio. So none of this temperamental Vox stuff. It actually does all the push to talk um, via the lead uh, as well as audio. And the best thing about it is with Vox, I think you've got the problem with uh, a lot of these cross banding handsets and mobile radios you've got they work both ways so if you have the tx is one frequency and the rx is one frequency people can talk both through the rx and the tx it gets a bit complicated for people so this will only receive uh, on the frequency you tell it to on one radio it's still bleeping he's bleeping it look at all them pretty pornographic lights flashing it's telling me my battery's low because it's been sat in the box for god knows how long so this does all the full controlling and turns two radios into a full duplex repeater. It's advertised as a crossband repeater because you can crossband. You can have the receive on 144 and the RX can be on uh, 433, blah, 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 whatever you want. You know, um, or you can have it on the same frequency. You can have this as a two meter repeater, 70 SEMs, whatever your radios are capable of, or you can crossband with it and it will do everything for you. Also, um, this is what gets me is the battery is 3.7 it says on the back 5 to 24 5 volts is usb so it will run off 5 volts no problem i think you get about three days out of the battery built into it but it says 5 volts to 24 volts i've not tried it i wouldn't recommend it because i don't recommend anything just in case but it, it says on here in there and listed everywhere else it's 5 to 24 so you can run it from a 12 volt system or a 24 volt system obviously fuses required i wouldn't put more than maybe two or three amps through this really yeah two three amps wouldn't put two more than two or three amps for it but yeah you will take up to 24 volts and go as low for operation as five volts hence the usb so all round, uh, we're nearly at the 10 minute mark, I better shut up now. Um, yep, yeah, in the instructions, I tell you to use it with a duplexer for a single antenna use with two radios. Or show you how to wire it up with um, two antennas with two radios. Um, explains if you get too much interference, it's not working because the radios are too close because obviously you've got to have the RX directly below the TX. Um, at least, was it five five metres away would be ideal. Um, you want a good few feet between two antennas. Right, it's got everything you need, tells you what the, how the lights flash, what they mean. Tells you how to change the password, set the password up, turn it on and off. It's got everything you need in there, but out of the box, anyone with half a brain, i.e. me, can use it. You literally, one button, you plug your radios in, if they're the wrong way around, you swap them over, you turn the thing on, you turn your radios up, and you're off. Um, it's a great little controller, um, seems to be well built. 
But unfortunately, there's not a lot of videos on this particular one on YouTube, and any videos there are, they're literally just silent videos of people going. For about two minutes, and that kind of bores me. So if you are looking into getting one of these, uh, they're from about 40, 50 pound mark. You can pay 60 or 70, depends where you go to get ripped off. Um, they seem to work fine, they seem to be reliable, and it all comes neatly wrapped up in a box. With everything you need to get going, obviously, apart from the radios. And it'll fit, I've got a hole in the box now. Oops. So yeah, that's a quick look at the Shawcom 32. Always forget, always forget. 328, the Shawcom 328 duplex repeater controller. Thanks for watching. I've been Wow Sly, and I probably will be for the rest of the day. Um, 73. Please like, share, thumbs up. Check this out. Oh, the thumb. Uh. Look at all them pretty pornographic lights.